Hey everyone, what's happening today? You're noticing something different. I'm actually recording using a camera, and that's because I have one that doesn't suck. And uh, I figured this would be a little bit better. And uh, plus you get to look at my ugly mug. But I know nobody wants to see that, but uh, here it is anyway. Um, so today, we're going over Ubuntu 20.04 LTS release. And uh, I know it's not going to be released till April of next year, but I was reading an article about it, and uh, it appears they have released certain information about it, so I figured it'd be an interesting topic. So let's go ahead and jump over to the article, and we're going to go over it. So I was going through OMG Ubuntu, and I stumbled across this article. Ubuntu 20.04 release date and planned features. Of course, this has been updated. And uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. And, um, of course, we know Ubuntu 19.10 came out. It had some experimental features in it, etc. So, um, this uh, next release is going to be called Focal Fossa. And, um, so, that's kind of an interesting name. Uh, somehow I think they need to stop smoking the drugs when they're coming up with these Ubuntu names, but that's just a really, really funny uh, anecdote there. But um, as we know, this is going to be an LTS release, which means it's going to be released for five uh, not released, but supported for five years on the desktop and the server, but this is also an ESM release, which is ex Extended Support Maintenance release, which is a paid feature of Ubuntu, which allows uh, businesses, enterprise solutions, and even home users, if you want to pay for it, to get five more years of support with this version. The last ESM release was 14.04, and now we're here with 20.04 with another extended support and maintenance release. And that's through the Ubuntu Advantage program. Now, uh, here is the release schedule. Of course, it's going to be released on the 23rd of April, 2020. And the testing week, when the alpha starts rolling out, would be... January 9th, 2020. And now the UI freeze for, of course, the GNOME version would be March 19th, 2020. And Ubuntu Beta will be the 2nd of April. The kernel freeze would be on April 9th to be released. And the release candidate would be the 16th of April to be released on the 23rd. So that kind of uh, gives us an approximate schedule of what they're planning on doing. And here is what they plan on including in 20.04. And they'll say don't expect many drastic changes in 20.04, which is kind of uh, the power for the course for the Ubuntu right now. Um, they're planning on including GNOME 3.36 and then also Linux kernel 5.5 or newer. Improved ZFS install support. So they're going to try and improve the ZFS support in Ubuntu 20.04. They're going to have newer wallpapers, smaller ISO images, uh, Lightning extension added to Thunderbird by default. Multi-monitor support in GDM, which is the login screen or the display manager, whatever you want to call it. Fractional scaling in XORG. Gaming-related improvements. And a better GNOME shell performance. What's better GNOME shell performance? They've been improving that with the version of GNOME, so I don't necessarily, uh, that, that is handled on the GNOME end. And, um, admittedly, 
This list might not look like a lot right now, but don't worry, it will grow over the coming six months as development kips, kicks into gear and plans get underway. Which, of course, is a subject to change. So, that is the way it works. And, uh, of course, they have a link to download the daily builds, which aren't available at this time. So that was a brief look at the things to come with Ubuntu 20.04. Now, this is subject to change due to the fact of the, that it's under development at this time. However, I do plan on staying up to date with this. I also plan on featuring some of the daily alpha builds on this channel, so keep an eye out for those as well. And that is all I have for you today, so I will catch you in the next one. If you like my content and wish to support my work, you can do so on Patreon. The link is in the description. Also, if you wish to see more, check out the videos on your screen.